Hey, thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a little bit about my experience being pregnant with twins. Mainly I want to focus on tips and information that I wish I would have known at the very beginning of my journey and things that I wish that I think would have changed the outcomes of my pregnancy. <clears throat> and so um, with the information that I had, I feel like I did a pretty darn good job with my pregnancy, but who knows if I would have learned these tips from the very, very beginning, I think maybe I could have done even better. And so this video is intended for moms who are just at the beginning of their twin pregnancy journey and maybe they're seeking information just as I was. And it's also intended for anyone who's just curious about what it's like to be pregnant with twins. So if you are interested in that information, go ahead and stay tuned for the rest of the video. And before we move on, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit my subscribe uh, button down below. So today I decided we're going to try to do this podcast version, you all. So <laughs> please bear with me. You would not believe how many times I've tried to record this video in a traditional manner, but um, you know, when you have four kids, things get kind of crazy. So, <laughs> introduction. So yeah, when I found out I was pregnant with twins, I was super, super duper excited. I feel like, you know, yeah, like it was just a huge blessing for me and my family. And I feel like any mom, I just wanted to create the best outcomes for my pregnancy as possible. And so when I started getting into the research and kind of Googling about what to expect, number one, there just wasn't a lot of resources out there for me to find. And number two, I felt like I consistently came across information indicating that, oh my God, this is such a high risk pregnancy. Um, and then there's different types of twins, which I didn't know that and at that time. And so different types of twins, depending on how they are created, you know, can also have their own set of complications. You learn about the problems with preterm labor. You learn about issues with um, babies being born underweight. And there's just so many concerns that it just seems like you're slapped across the face with um, when you first start researching about what it's like to be pregnant with twins. And so, like I said, like any mom, I just wanted to do the best job that I could. And, um, and so I'm going to share with you some tips that I picked up along the way that I think were absolutely essential to know and things that I just wish I would have known from the beginning of my journey. Starting with number one, it kind of goes along with the same lines of my introduction. Get informed as early as possible. Because when you think about it, you know, <clears throat> those first few weeks of pregnancy are so important. Um, during that time, you're developing the baby's, the baby's heart is, I think, one of the first organs that develops, followed by a lot of it, the baby's other essential organs. So it's not like a game where you have all this time to like get your life together. I mean, obviously you do, but the sooner you start doing and implementing things that are going to be healthy for your baby, the better. So sources of information that I recommend would number one, be a doctor. Now, I'm going to just leave a disclaimer here. Not all doctors are the same. Um, some doctors just have way more experience when it comes to delivering multiples. And there are also going to be doctors out there who are going to tell you that this is the same as any other pregnancy. It's the same as, as a singleton pregnancy. And my, based off of my personal opinion, is if you get that type of doctor, you probably want to keep looking around and that was certainly my case my first doctor that I got um, he just didn't have the experience with twins that I was looking for and as I continue on with this podcast version of about talking about twin pregnancy you'll kind of understand what I'm talking about some of the concerns that I had with him but a doctor that has a lot of experience with twins is going to be a really awesome source of information the next source of information you want to kind of look into is learning from other moms. So videos like this, um, there are a lot of other moms on YouTube that talk about their experience with twins. And even though, even though it's your experience may not be exactly like what you see on 
you know other people's sites or channels or whatever um it's to me it was very useful to just have a point of reference about what to expect what their care plans were looking like with their doctors what their doctors were telling them you know it's just a good point of reference um to let you know if just something doesn't sound right with your own doctor and your own plan of care and to let you know that there are options out there you don't have to just strictly go by what the doctor that you got what they say so it's just good to hear a lot of a variety of opinions and my my thoughts about that the next source of information is there is an incredible book um when i recorded this video the first time i had the book with me but I don't have it but it's like what to expect when um, pregnant with twins triplets and quads or something like that I will go ahead and post a clip of what that video looks like here and what the book looks like and I'll also include a link down below for those of you who are interested and this book was an excellent guide for a twin pregnancy I actually heard a lot of other twin pregnant moms talking about this book and initially I was a little nervous to get it because I just kept hearing like oh this is like fear-mongering this book just wants you to be scared but no that was not my perspective I went ahead and broke it down and got it because I just felt like I was hearing all this information and like there's just a lot of like undiscussed information like you would hear these tips but I wouldn't understand why or if it was appropriate for me or you know and then I would hear mixed messages from my doctor and this book was just an excellent guideline it just laid out everything that I felt like I needed to know the good the bad the ugly whatever you know and to me I just I just really crave to be informed when I'm going through a new situation and this book really did that this book lets you know it breaks down the different types of twin pregnancies um, and it talks about risks associated with each it does a great job of talking about diets and what macronutrients you need to be striving for it does a great job of talking about weight gain and uh, things that we can implement and do to reduce the risk of going into preterm labor um, what else does it talk about you know just like little stuff like that that I just found so helpful and uh, that I just felt like I couldn't find this information anywhere else I had like other pregnancy books and they just kind of glossed over the twin pregnancy thing and this one was just so detailed and oh another thing that the book had was um, excellent questions that you can ask your doctor to know if your doctor is a good fit for you and your pregnancy so um, those would be the sources of information that I would look to um, just at the very very beginning okay so the next point that I have is to be extremely selective with your doctor um, <clears throat> and so the first doctor that I had I just felt like he didn't have the type of experience that I needed when it came to uh, having a twin pregnancy and so I ended up I was almost 30 weeks pregnant 30 plus weeks pregnant and I ended up switching doctors at the last minute which I think was a huge blessing for me and the best decision that I could have made for my girls and the book that I mentioned for in point one mentioned about in point one um, has a, like I mentioned an excellent list of questions that you might consider asking your doctor to see if your doctor would be a good fit for you and what you feel comfortable with and so if you guys are interested in a video of like questions that I ask, let me know down in the comments below and I can tell you the list of questions that I asked. But um, so yeah, I ended up changing doctors and uh, just know that I'm like I mentioned before that not all doctors are specialized when it comes to having multiples. And if you get a doctor that just insists that you should do everything the same as you would for a singleton baby, I would just be very cautious about that and make sure you do your own research as well. Um, so that's my thoughts about that. Also, the book mentions that it's very important to not just have an OBGYN. You should also look into having a maternal fetal medicine doctor as well. So these are doctors that manage high risk 
pregnancies and so there's just going to be a lot of good information that they can see that you may not be able to see in a, a traditional clinic um, for example with my pregnancy one of my babies was okay so there's like a range of what to expect on a normal like in terms of like weight there's like a normal range to expect and for me I was striving to have my babies at least be in the 50th percentile and when I went to my regular doctor he was like oh yeah everything looks great everything's fine they're growing well and maybe he did see that one of my babies was kind of on the lower end of normal and not necessarily meeting my goals and maybe he just didn't tell me I don't know but um when I went to that maternal fetal medicine doctor, just that information was so detailed and printed out so clear that even if a doctor didn't tell me, it was very obvious to me that I was not meeting my goals in terms of weight gain for my baby. So I was able to work with that maternal fetal medicine doctor and we were able to formulate a really good care plan so that I could grow my baby. Um, like. I could grow one of my babies. Um, I had a very short amount of time to do it. You know, with the twins, you don't <laughs> carry them as some. Most of the time, it's very challenging to carry them up to full term. Thirty-five and a half weeks is kind of what is the norm, and so um, so I had to grow her in a very short amount of time and. Uh, so I was able to do that, you know, thankfully because I had the guidance of a maternal fetal medicine doctor and she really just kind of broke down nutrition for me and gave me like a good action plan that I was able to follow and grow my baby um, and to, so that we could have better outcomes in terms of her weight. And so you just want to make sure that you have like a good care team um, and be working with the, your traditional OBGYN and also a maternal fetal medicine doctor. The last point that I wanted to talk about that you may need to consider if you are a twin pregnant mom is changes in your lifestyle and you're going to have to be super intentional about a lot of things and the first thing I'll talk about is water. Um, me, I'm just not like the best water drinker in the world but I really had to push myself, challenge myself and be creative when it came to this twin pregnancy. Um, you know like one of those 16 ounce standard bottles of water like I thought I was doing great if I can get like three or four of those in in a day but when you're pregnant with twins you need to be getting like 10 of those in according to what my doctor was telling me um so let me give you an idea of how important it is to stay hydrated during this um twin pregnancy according to my doctor the hormone that your body releases when you are dehydrated is only one protein different from the hormone that you release when you are in labor. So a lot of twin moms, they end up going to the emergency room thinking that they're in labor when all it is is just dehydration and they have to go and pay this expensive medical bill just to be rehydrated. And then once they're hydrated, that hormone stops cranking out and they're able to stop the labor the, the labor and so not saying that that's you know going to be your experience but um de being dehydrated is not a good thing <laughs> um, and it can really cause you some unnecessary emergency room visits because you're going to think or it can jump start labor so <laughs> don't do that to yourself um try your best to drink your water at home so you don't have to deal with those kind of problems so um so another consideration that you're gonna have to make is your diet um when you are pregnant with twins you know um sometimes number one you're gonna want you're gonna want to get in as much high highly well what am i trying to say you're gonna wanna try to get in as much nutrient dense food into your body as possible. Like you just, you don't wanna just be eating just to eat. You really don't wanna waste your time with empty calories because you have two babies that are sharing those resources. And so um, starting from the very beginning, you just really wanna try to do your best with um, 
just eating a high quality diet. When I was trying to grow one of my babies um, so that we could increase her per, her rank, her percentile, one thing that my maternal fetal medicine doctor really encouraged me to do was it, to increase my protein intake. So she was saying, make sure, you know, try to get in those eggs, try to get in. She was like, you live in Texas, girl. You better eat that barbecue, okay? Um, try to eat Greek yogurts and nuts and what else like tuna and whatever you can get to incorporate more protein into your diet like she was just like eat that first and then eat everything else after that it is so important to crank up those proteins oh she also told me to take protein shakes and things like that um, just to increase the amount of protein in my diet and so there are gonna be times where you're gonna be tempted to skip a meal or to skip a snack you know, especially in the beginning where you're not feeling so great or toward the end when the weight of the babies is just so heavy, it kind of squishes your tummy. But I just highly encourage you based off of my experience to do the best that you can to still eat and to still eat well, even if all you can manage to get is a handful of nuts or a Greek yogurt or something. Try not to skip too many meals. Um, even when your body is telling you that you may not be so hungry um, because you want to do the best you can to just get in those nutrient-dense foods to your baby. The last lifestyle requirement that you may have to consider making is you're going to have to really take it easy and cut back on your activity. That was so hard for me to do because, you know, I have a family have a home that I need to take care of. I have a baby who has food allergies, who has to have home cooked meals every day, every meal, you know? And, uh, but I noticed during my pregnancy, after 20 to 30 minutes of doing any type of activity, I would start experiencing like tightness and cramps and things like that. And, uh, yeah, that's, you know something that you don't want to experience when you know that your chance of having a, a high your chance of going into preterm labor is really high and so uh, well so something that I had to do is I really had to uh, really crank back the activity I had to be very strategic about how I spent my time um, I had a lady she was like one of the first people that I talked to about being pregnant with twins this lady actually had two sets of twins which I was just thought was incredible and she told me that she had some pretty huge differences between her first set of twins and her second set of twins um, during her first set of twins she said that she um, she basically had them prematurely and she, in her opinion she believed that what caused that was her she was just very active she was like you know once I got past that first trimester I was feeling great and I was you know just up and active and I was just really pushing myself and she ended up having those babies you know a lot earlier than what she intended to and then when she went and had you know her second set of twins she said that she kind of learned her lesson and she just took it way easy this time she just did like the least possible that she could do and she was able to carry those babies to full term and so that was the number one advice that she gave me she was like once you get like to like I can't remember if she gave me like a specific timeline but she was like once you start getting into that 20 weeks you're gonna have to take it easy like don't even play games with it because the level of care that's required for premature babies is so intense and it's so much that if you can just take it easy it's just going to be worth it because it's much easier to care for you know babies that are full term um, and that you know can eat and you don't have to worry about doing the NICU thing and so um, that really stuck with me and that was something that I took very seriously throughout my whole pregnancy and so anytime I felt any symptom or indicator that um, I was getting tired I took it easy immediately and the thing is I didn't even make it to my second trimester before I, my body started giving me cues that I was overexerting myself um, all the way in my first pregnancy and as I mentioned you know you, these the twin pregnancies can consume a lot of your energy and your resources even in the beginning when you're developing little hearts little lungs little brains so it's, it takes a lot of energy and so you're gonna have to really find a way to give yourself grace um, your house might just be a little bit messy for a couple of weeks and just give yourself grace and really support your body in that because it just needs a lot of energy to produce these two babies and I mentioned earlier that I had a doctor who 
my first doctor, I just didn't feel like we, he was compatible with what I was looking for in a pregnancy. And this was one concern that I felt like we really uh, had differences with. I was telling him my concerns about the activity level and how I was starting to feel like crampy and stuff after being active for so long. And he pretty much told me, it's all in your head, like you're fine, you're okay. Um, in fact, maybe you need more exercise because maybe it'll help relieve stress and all this stuff. And so based off of that lady's personal testimony and also what I read in the book, the book that I mentioned to you guys about, it has a whole chapter talking about lifestyle and how you need to take it easy and um, start making preparations to do that. It just, his advice wasn't consistent with anything that else that I was hearing. And so that was also a red flag for me that I needed to think about moving around. Also, I told you about lifestyle and diet. I, asked, I was asking him and seeking information and knowledge about what should I be eating. And he just told me, you know, you need to eat intuitively. Whatever your body tells you you're craving, just eat that. And when you're full, you're full. You're done. And once again, that wasn't really consistent with what I was hearing other moms going through. And it wasn't consistent with what I was reading in the book. That was encouraging us to strive for certain macronutrients and certain weight gain by certain points. And so... um. So those are just things that you want to start planning for and considering at the beginning of your journey that can help you have really great outcomes at the end. So um, so those are the three tips that I wish somebody would have shared with me from the beginning. And so in conclusion, I just want to let you know that if you're getting, if you're carrying twins, just be prepared to be challenged. Okay. Um, this twin pregnancy was I mean, twin pregnancy is going to push you in a lot of different ways. It's going to push you physically as your body is adjusting and growing and adjusting to the weight of carrying two living human beings. It's, it's going to be a lot. And for me, it was painful at times, you know. There would be times where either I couldn't get any relief at all and I was just in just constant pain. <laughs> Sometimes I would be, you know like upset and crying and then there would be times where maybe the only relief that I could find was just resting my muscles and getting in a warm bath and you know there were times where I would fall asleep in the bathtub because like that would just be the only place I could have rest you know for just a little bit of time and and then also I mentioned c cutting back your activity is so hard when you see all this stuff that needs to get done and errands that need to get run, ran and you can't do it. You can't be there for your family the way that you used to. But um, I just want to let you know that this, you're not going to be pregnant forever. Okay. Um, you're number one. Our bodies are so incredible in its ability to adjust and adapt and to handle this thing. Um, it's just really incredible what the human body is capable of. And number two, when it gets hard, just remember it's just temporary. Just get to the next day and the next day and the next day. And next thing you know, your baby's going to be here and it's going to be totally, totally worth it. But just keep your eye on the end game. Keep your eye on the goal. Um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and lie and tell you that it's peaches and rainbows. And there's going to be times where you're just going to feel mentally and physically defeated and you're gonna be like how can I get through this another day but just try to remember that it's just temporary that discomfort that pain is just temporary and just keep holding on and you're gonna get to the other side okay and when you do it's gonna be so worth it you're gonna be so happy with your babies you're gonna be so in love and you won't even be able to imagine your life any other way and you're gonna be looking back at your twin pregnancy as I am now and it's just gonna be like a faint memory and the drama and the pain that you might go through you'll forget about it and then maybe you're, you're gonna be one of those people who this the pregnancy doesn't bother you at all and you don't have to make any changes if that's good if that's you great for you but that totally wasn't my circumstance and it's okay you know every pregnancy is different but at least my goal with this video is to just make you informed you know if you happen to get a doctor that's telling you do everything the same don't change a thing treat it like a singleton pregnancy yeah. you know that's in the book it talks about the rates of premature babies and underweight babies and I believe that that's that's 
one of the reasons why so many people have problems with problems with this type of pregnancy is because of misinformation yeah so anyway I just wanted to share my personal story and some tips um, if you guys have any questions let me know down below I would love to create more videos about twin pregnancy if anyone is interested this is just a video I wish I would have had just lay everything out you know at the beginning of my pregnancy journey so um yeah so that's it for this twin pregnancy podcast that's kind of what it is at this point it's a podcast um so right now y'all i'm on the struggle bus at my house <laughs> trying to create these videos with a house full of kids right now the only reason i'm able to do this video is because i just stepped outside and i took my microphone with me and i'm like you know what let's just do the best we can so um and honestly, I wouldn't mind doing like a mix of videos and podcasts on my channel. So let me know what you guys think. Um, those of you guys who made it to the end of the video, if this is helpful. Go ahead and give me a like and leave your questions down below um, if you have any. And I would be more than happy to share my personal experience. And once again, reiterating my personal experience because I know that not everybody is going to go through pregnancy the way that I went through it. But I still think the information is pretty relevant. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit subscribe already, go ahead and hit subscribe. Come on, let's be YouTube friends. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, friends.